is the cat's feeding ground. Hi. This is, um... Hi, you always purr me. Sorry, is that bright for you? Um, where she has her dry food. And she spills all over the place with the clean it up. The wet food bowl is there. Cat. Cat. She's purring. <laughs> That's where she eats, and then we have her um, scratch pad <laughs> next to the toilet and um, her litter next to the toilet because there's a lot of debris, so we don't like um, her scratch pad anywhere else. I'll show you guys where she likes to chill. Sometimes she chills right here in the hallway in this little crevice. Sometimes she chills on our shoes. Sometimes she chills in this corner. Sometimes she chills on top of this uh, kimchi fridge and she likes to sit on the towel. Then she has another spot under the um, dining table there in the corner she likes to sit. Sometimes she likes to sit. Hello. You creepy. Sometimes she likes to sit right here on top of this huge body pillow. And she likes to sit on this window. She likes to sit on that window. She likes to sit under here and under here. She's like rubbing herself like crazy. And sometimes she likes to sit under here in the corner under this um, electric stone bed. She has a really pretty coat. Very beautiful. Oh, she's crazy. She likes to be pet. Um, sorry, lighting's bad. It's like 12 a.m. right now. Actually, never mind. It's 1 a.m. right now. She likes to be pet on her face, her back, right here by the base of her tail. And then she often comes in and um, at one point she'll flip over. She likes her tummy rubbed. And then she goes down like this. My kitty cat. When I adopted her, she was uh, three months old. She was the cutest kitten at the adoption center. Right? You were the cutest kitten. You were the cutest kitten. She's still pretty small for her, um, for an adult cat. Um, I think she's like a small, medium size. My first child. <laughs> My first baby. You always been mommy's number one baby. I'll show you guys how I feed her um, her wet food. I've already filmed it once, and it was in one of my day vlogs. Um, but I'll show you guys how we feed her. We give her friskies usually, and she really likes friskies. She likes all sort of wet food. Um, wet food is her highlight of the day. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So first off, I let her things soak in there because there's um, leftovers from before. She knows that she's getting food. She's very happy. So I usually give her half of this for one meal and the rest of it I'll put in the fridge for the next time I give her her wet food. Get all the gravy. She loves the gravy. And if I had just opened the can, I would just give it to her the way that it is. But because um, this had been in the fridge and it's cold, I usually microwave it for like 8 seconds or so. This is when we race. Ah, you beat me this time. I usually beat her, but I guess it's a 50-50. Sometimes she beats me, and sometimes I beat her. Sometimes I brush her when she's uh, eating, and sometimes I brush her when I pet her. But when she's eating, she hates it when I brush her. She like growls at me because she, she wants to focus on eating. And I usually try to clip her toenails while I pet her as well because she doesn't really like getting her toenails clipped. But she, she bears through it, but she doesn't really like it. So I try to like appeal to her, make her a little happy and then clip a few toenails and then make her happy again and then clip another few. So this one she's eating right now is um, some sort of ocean pate. Her dry food is um, I am's right now and it's the hairball control one because um, she has really long fur and she grooms it well herself too. And when she grooms it, she ingests a lot of her fur. And because it's so long, she gets a lot of hairballs frequently. So when, when she takes the IM's um, hairball control dry food, it actually really helps in controlling her hairballs. And you're such a cutie. A lot of you guys ask what breed she is. Because I adopted her from a shelter, I wasn't sure and um, she was only three months old so we couldn't tell what breed she was. Um, but uh, one of you guys commented saying that she looks like a Maine Coon and I did search on Google um, images of Maine Coon cats and she does look exactly like a Maine Coon but I think that she's a um, mixed breed because she is a lot smaller than Maine Coon cats um, regular size. I think Maine Coon cats are supposed to be really large, like they're supposed to be um, big size cats, but she's actually really small for a Maine Coon. So I'm thinking that maybe she's mixed, but her coat, her face, her, her hair length, her uh, coat color, her fur color, and pattern is all like it looks really Maine Coon like her face um, markings as well but it's just her size her size is really small like her body's really small compared to regular Maine Coons I think this April she's turning four years old she's gonna be four years old in April She used to only eat like 80% of it and then leave it behind and then finish it later. But um, 
the past few months she's been just eating all of it I don't know and she would do that like no matter how much we give her like if we give her a lot she would still leave like 80% and then if we would give her a little she would still leave 80% so I think she was like savoring it but then now that she like savored it too much she wanted to finish it all are you done? And then she cleans herself after. Okay. You finish? She's looking at the shadow of the camera. She likes to play with light. <laughs> she loves laser beams and uh, mirror sunlight reflections she was always a hunter from when she was young anyways that's my cat mm. we'll see you guys She's in hunting mode right now. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention she likes to sometimes sit in this corner. And sometimes she'll sit like behind the bicycle and we'll never know where she is because she's hiding behind the bicycle. I guess she finds it cozy. Oh yeah, okay. That's the end of this video. You guys asked for an update on her, so here it is. Bye. Good morning. New little stretcher.